what I had prepared are uh, some generic questions. I have 34 of them. If you want to pick a number, one through 34, or in a previous panel, they allowed people from the audience to shout out numbers to randomize. You that to sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a shout out of a number? 15. Uh, okay, so hold on. 15, and then I think I heard four. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's do 15 and a four. All right, so 15. What's your favorite thing about yourself? <laughs> You're fired. That's who was that guy? <laughs> we gotta get rid of him. Allow me to talk about me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I I don't know. But that's, like, that's so egotistical. I don't like that. <laughs> like that question. What? Uh, how about if I phrase it in the way of what do your friends? How about Say, what's my favorite thing about strongest. these guys? How about that? I like oh, that. Oh, okay, better. you can do that. Sure, yeah, yeah. I now have to make it weird. I have no, I know, right? <laughs> I have to tell you guys, like when uh, we just brushed over it, but Johnny Young Bosch, right? Um, I think at the time that you auditioned, you weren't even quite a black belt yet in martial arts. He had the most, like. Ph phenomenal audition that I've ever seen. Like his martial arts skills were, you know, some of the best I've seen. And, I, and I've been training for 10 years at that point, you know? So it was, it was pretty crazy. I, 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 I was impressed with uh, his skills. He's, you know, he's really low key about it, but he's a phenomenal martial artist. Johnny, you want to write this yeah. down so you can like get a little quick ego boost whenever you need it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I do feel the same way. That he does it. It feels weird to talk about yourself. I think we're probably all the same way and really yeah. uber critical about ourselves. You know, yeah, it yeah. is easier for me. Like I can sit there and I say, Steve is a guy that I know he won't like. Me. Like no matter what, he won't. He'll just tell me straight up what anything is. So if and the other great thing is he re like if I was like, man, what's this name? What's the name of this actor? Or what's this movie? He knows like. He, especially 90s, even like 80s. Like, he remembers he everything. He remembers lines, he remembers music. Lyrics. <laughs> like, yeah. But he won't, but he's like, he's, he's a straight up guy. Like, he will not lie. Like, right, I, yeah. Like, no, if, I'll ask him something, he'll yeah. tell me straight up. Don't ask me if you don't really <laughs> want to know the answer. <laughs> yeah. But what I, what I really respect about Boston is that the first time I met him, he had already left the show, and I was the guy who replaced him, and I was kind of scared to meet him, you know what I mean? Because I thought he was gonna be bitter and angry about the person, who, and he wasn't. He was like the most magnanimous. He was like giving me a lot of advice, and you know, just you know, kind of guiding me in along, and I didn't you know, think that he would, uh, would have done that, you know? So I, I really respect him for that. And that was when the first time I met you, when we went to your house party in Glendale, yeah. <laughs> that was yeah, a long night. That was, yeah, that was, <laughs> That was in 1994, man. Anyway, anyway, he's a really good guy. He remembers all that stuff. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> yeah, I think I think my favorite thing about both of these guys uh, that we haven't covered already is we have all been around the actors, as have probably many of you. You meet them at the table, and they can't be bothered to look up and look you in the eye. They can't be bothered to have a conversation, and you know that they could care less whether or not you exist in their presence. These guys both care. And not not about what you're paying at the table, but they, they care that you have a good experience. And uh, they want you to have a good time. And uh, they're not afraid to go, hey man, and you know what, did you, hey, did you get this guy over here? Because we all send each other. If we know the others are there, hey, go up here, go to that table, go to this table. And um, it's just, it's, it's a family feel. And uh, that's a, it's like a brotherhood, you get in the military or you get in the fire department, you know, everybody's a, it's a brotherhood. And it's it's pretty cool. We're never gonna leave any of the others out to out to dry. Yeah, we are a fraternity, that's for sure. Definitely, yeah. you know, I always, I always put it like this, you know, it's like if you wanna put it in like a real perspective, you know, if you, if you think about all the billions of people that are on the planet, you know, and out of all of them, there's only maybe about a hundred of us if you span all the generations of Power Rangers. About a hundred Power Rangers in the whole entire world. Like, that's something like you know, you know, pretty proud to be part of that. You know, it's really cool. Very small group. Austin is knowledgeable. 
Like Austin is like he has information about information. Like if there's anything, like he is like an encyclopedia. Yeah. Like the like any just he'll have something to say about it, uh, which is great because I don't know a lot of things, and if I ask any, him anything, he'll he'll have something, or he'll have a story about it, which is also great too. Um, That's yeah. true. Love the stories. Love the info. I'm a plethora of useless information. <laughs> Question number four.